Utilization of quinoa waste as a livestock feed. Quinoas are procured from the orchards and brought to food processing plants in plastic crates. Before extraction of juice, the quinoas are tested in the lab for sugar content, which should not be less than 9 bricks. Quinoas are unloaded in water channel, washed thoroughly with water containing 1 to 2 percent sodium hypochloride. Secondary washing is given by jet spray. Kinos go to the sorting table where damaged, rotten and green kinos are removed. Then the kino enter the raspa, a machine where the kinos are brushed and oil from the peel is removed. These are then transferred to polycitrus cutter and extractor where each kino is cut into two pieces and juice is extracted. After the extraction of juice, the leftover material is called kino waste, which contains peels, seeds and residual pulp. The kino waste constitutes 50% of kinos used for extraction. Kino waste is collected either in a 200 litre capacity drum or in a tractor trolley kept under the hopper for disposal by dumping in wasteland. The kino waste contains approximately 20% dry matter and 12% crude protein on dry matter basis and can be used fresh or after sun drying as a component of total mixed ration for dairy cattle. Ensiling Kino Waste Fresh kino waste and wheat straw are mixed in 80 to 20 ratio to obtain 34 to 35 percent dry matter required for making good silage. Wheat straw 140 kilograms is spread on a concrete floor. Then fresh kino waste 560 kilograms is spread on the wheat straw and mixed. A 10 to 12 feet long low density polyethylene tube of 6 feet diameter, one side of which is tied with nylon string, is used as a tube silo for making silage. The uniform mixture of kino waste and wheat straw is transferred into the tube silo with simultaneous manual pressing using clean feet. After thorough pressing, the polyethylene tube is tied with nylon string at the top end and left for 42 days in siling. The tube is opened and kino waste wheat straw silage is taken out as per the daily requirement. is tied again. The kino waste wheat straw silage can be incorporated in the total mixed ration at the rate of 25% on dry matter basis and mixed with other feed stuffs. The roughage to concentrate ratio is generally kept 65 to 35.
this ration is fed to cows, buffaloes or calves. Utilization of sun-dried kino waste The fresh kino waste is sun-dried on a concrete floor and then finely ground. The sun-dried ground kino waste which has approximately 12% crude protein is used to replace 100% barley grains which have 11.6% crude protein on nitrogen basis in the concentrate mixture of goat bucks. The concentrate mixture containing kino waste is fed to bucks after mixing with bursim hay, trifolium alexandrium in 50-50 ratio on dry matter basis. Bucks relish the kino waste based total mixed ration. The bursim hay containing 19% crude protein can be replaced up to 50% by sun-dried ground empty pea pods containing 18.5% crude protein on nitrogen basis. The concentrate mixture containing kino waste fed to bucks after mixing with sun-dried ground empty pea pods and bursim hay in 50-25-25 ratio on dry matter basis. The ruminants relish the kino waste pea pod based total mixed ration. Utilization of limonin extracted from kino peels in broiler ration. Kino peels contain 7% of a bioactive compound called limonin on dry matter basis. Limonin was incorporated in commercial broiler ration at the rate of 1%. The performance of broilers was improved significantly.